What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Let's Play Episode 1, How to Start. Now, I actually have done a series on FIFA 15 called Let's Play and it went down really well, the feedback was fantastic, the views were really high which is obviously as a YouTuber what you want to see. So, I'm going to be doing it again this year and if you want to see some more of this, make sure to subscribe to me as Echo Gaming HD. but also if you want to see Episode 2 tomorrow, make sure to drop a like right now because if we get 3,000 likes, I will upload another episode tomorrow. So first things first guys, let me explain the series if you are new to this series because obviously I don't expect you to go back and watch uh, the start of a FIFA 15 one just to get the series idea. But the whole idea of it is, it's a road to glory that starts from fresh and that means that you have no FIFA points, no coins, no nothing. All you get is what you get given basically. So when you start Ultimate Team, you automatically get given some free packs. Now the longer you've played Ultimate Team, the more free packs you're actually going to get given. So, yeah, so the more you've played it, the more lo loyalty packs you'll get. Now, this year, they've actually introduced some Legend loan packs, which is obviously very decent, especially considering that Legends now get really good chemistry with pretty much any player. So, it, you know, it's a bonus to get a Legend, and you get them for free games, or you should be getting them for free games. So that is what you should be doing when you start your Ultimate Team. That is the absolute first thing you do. The second thing you need to be doing, guys, is going to redeem your coin boosts. Now, I'm actually quite high level on this account. I think I'm about level 40-ish. This is my like third gamer tag that I have. I have quite a lot of gamer tags and accounts and stuff because I, you know, open packs and do series and stuff like that. But if you've got your main account and it's not very high rated, you should, you know, have some kind of coin boost. It may not be the 1,000 coins per game one, but that is still something you should be redeeming because they're free coins at the end of the day. I actually made a video on it yesterday to let people know and remind people to do it. The second, th oh, sorry, no, the third thing is to redeem some of the lone players because the first team you build is going to be on a budget now if you have less players to buy for that team because you've got lone players in it then that is going to increase your you know your your team <laughs> basically it's going to make your team better now I've got Rondon there, I've got Belassi, and I've got De Gea because I knew I was going to be building a BPL squad. I always do at the start of this series and the start of pretty much every Rose Glory. I always go for the BPL. Why? Because it's the most popular league going. And I know that my view viewership is mainly from the UK, which means you're most likely going to like seeing a BPL squad. Now, let's say four to five episodes into this series, I will start to expand maybe into a Bundesliga squad, Liga BBVA, maybe even a Liga do, Portu Liga do Portuguesa? Liga do Brazil, because that league is obviously back. I missed it in FIFA 15, so we will be getting into the Brazilians later in this, into this series. But as I was saying, loan players and players you get for free. As you can see there, I've actually got five players um, on loan, which is fantastic. No, not five players. I've got four players on loan, and i also got Daily Blind in one of the packs, which is obviously a BPL player and a player that I would class as someone that I could use for my starter squad. So, that being said, Desai has three games, so I knew that I'd have to buy a centre-back very shortly after my first few games. I actually bought um, some players for the back line first. I always like to buy and make sure I've got a solid defence before I go for the attackers, because at the end of the day, you're, it all comes down to your defence. If you're letting in goals, it doesn't matter how many you score. So you need to have a a good solid core and especially this year because passing and defending is actually a very very important thing especially passing we'll get to that as we get into the gameplay so first things first you see my team here we've got Origi up front we've got Odoming on the right we've got Johnson right back we've got a new left back I don't even remember his name in the left back position but his stats look pretty decent I got him for under a thousand coins which is the main thing but the the next thing you need to be doing guys even though you've built a squad is actually playing in the draft. Now, you can actually play the draft match before you build your team because you might actually have some more coins to spend on your team. Uh, but this is just the way that I've done it. So, the reason why you should be actually playing your draft the first, you know, straight away is because every account should come with a free token, which means you can actually enter the draft, you can lose your first game, and you can get a couple of free packs for completely free. You may not get anything in those free packs, but you will actually be able to discard those packs for, say, two or three thousand coins, maybe get a few contracts to help you through the first few matches or the first few times you have to reload someone's contracts or something like that. So they're very important to be, you know, it's very important to get going with this. So that is exactly what done. I actually managed to get in form Ronaldo, which was fantastic because obviously we had the first team of the week. We had Ronaldo, we had Guarin, we had Payet. I can't remember the rest of them because I only remember the top three. That's just how my brain works. But we go into our first game and this guy had best and he had Ronaldo. So this guy obviously got the best picks there because uh, my pick was to have in form Ronaldo or best. And obviously I went for the Ronaldo because he was new and I wanted to see how he played like. But one thing that you will notice this year, guys, is players such as Ronaldo won't fill 
as overpowered. Now, when I say overpowered, I don't mean because they're not, they shouldn't be good. I mean because if you had Ronaldo in previous FIFAs, even if it was just a normal Ronaldo, you could just pace it past anybody. But on this one, it's a lot more difficult. Obviously, they're still going to patch the game and make little adjustments to the game. But we're playing on the first one here and it's all about passing right now. You'll notice that as soon as you start playing this game, it'll feel very slow. The head to, it'll, it'll almost feel like head-to-head, -head, except even slower because they've changed the dynamics of the game. Um, and, and as I said, Ronaldo just isn't as good. But here, we was 1-0 down. I knew this was going on YouTube. I could not be losing my first match, so I did sweat that cross, which is obviously... It's, it's actually a lot harder to sweat in this game because you just don't get as many chances to score, or at least that's what I've noticed from playing this game so far and I've played about 20 to 30 games a couple of them uh, against friends but most of them online in draft or single matches or even divisions so they've been pretty competitive matches uh, but I did have a couple of chances which were both offside and uh, I did score both of them which was annoying though uh, but this guy actually managed to go through I thought it was going to be a free kick early on in that attack literally about a few seconds before which kind of put me off but 75th minute he goes 2-1 uh, up and the final whistle blows and I did unfortunately lose my first game but as I said if you lose your first game in the draft you do still get rewarded because um, it's you know it's a new series not, not, not a new series a new feature in Ultimate Team which means they want to kind of promote it a little bit and also give you guys a little bit of reward but as you saw there I was just you know casually playing the game and all of a sudden it just lagged me out there's a few problems at the moment with the EA servers if you're a you know if you used to play old FIFAs you'll know this problem it will just lag you out randomly and I thought for a second I didn't get my bonuses but you do if you go back into the draft mode it will have a you know a section there where you can actually claim your prize and it gives you your free packs into the store and that's exactly what I've done so I've got two gold packs I've got one silver pack and I actually got a BPL player in my first pack, which, they, which was a centimetre thing called Fonte or something like that, which I may be using for chemistry reasons or fitness reasons later on in this series. I haven't actually played the games yet to actually know if I will be using them. Um, and obviously in the silver pack here, I actually got a player from Man United who I wasn't actually going to use, but I thought, you know what, he might be worth something. So I listed him up and I pretty much just discarded the rest of that pack. But the, the name of this not the name of this series the name of the game for this series is going to be I want to get to division one and I want to win it that is all I want to do guys that is it series over as soon as I've won division one and I've won the title that is it we're going to start another series and so that is all I want to be doing right now so all I want to be doing is going to be playing divisions no online single matches for whatever reason if I have to play online single matches there must be a reason because divisions just isn't working or something but every match will be in divisions from now onwards every now and again I might have enough coins to get into the draft maybe I'll, I'll open up a pack and I'll get a token or something that could still happen but pretty much every game is going to be divisions and I'm going to get some tips and tricks along the way to help you guys get better but as you can see in this game, I was actually dominating. The first few chances actually come for me. Here, Rondon with his four-star skills. I like the fact that he's got four-star skills uh, because I think in previous, you know, the previous FIFA, he started with three and then he got four-star or something like that. But he's a very big player, almost relatable to Ibrahimovic in the fact that he's very, very tall, very strong, and he's a bit skillful as well. Whereas Ibra, I, I think he should have five-star skills uh, myself with Ibra. That's my opinion. But here, um, I'm 1-0 up, 90th minute, the whistle goes, I was so happy, even though it was only one goal and the gameplay wasn't that interesting, I was so glad I got an actual win. And guess what happened, guys? Just as I was coming to the end, we are sorry, but there has been an error with FIFA 16, and I was like, you are having a laugh here. But I couldn't do anything about it, I got another DNF, I got another loss on my record, and you saw that, I actually won the game. But that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. As I said, if you want to see episode 2 tomorrow, make sure to drop a like, and we'll, if we can get 3,000 likes, I'll upload tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.